members of the Windsor Spitfires were selected to compete in their World Junior Hockey Selection Camps this past week. 18-year-old Michael DiPietro, the goaltender of the Windsor Spitfires from nearby Amherstburg, Ontario, has been selected to compete for Team Canada and will compete with three other 19-year-old goaltenders for a chance to wear the Maple Leaf at the IIHF World Junior Hockey Championships. Also receiving good news was forward Logan Brown, who was invited to Team USA camp and is expected to be a leader for the Americans. Canada's quest for gold officially begins on Boxing Day against Finland at 4 p.m. WEXA named their football all-stars this past week, including 12 members of the OFSA Western Bowl champion, Holy Names Knights. Headlining the group of all-stars is Knights running back Mike Herzog, who was named the league's offensive MVP just one week after scoring two touchdowns in Holy Names' comeback victory over the London South Lions at the OFSA Western Bowl in Hamilton. Fellow Knight Justin Pope was named special teams MVP, and Christian Fecto was lineman of the year. Waxa coaching staff of the year also went to the Holy Names Knights. In the National Basketball League of Canada, the Windsor Express pulled their record to an even 3-3 three three with a convincing 108-91 victory over the London Lightning on the road this past weekend. Maurice Jones paced Windsor's offense with 28 points on 11 of 24 shooting, converting 4 of 5 from beyond the three-point line. Jones was followed by a rookie shooting guard, Braylon Rayson, who scored 24 points, knocking down 6 of Windsor's 15 made three-point shots. This past weekend, the Windsor Express pulled their record to an even 3-3 three three with a big win over the London Lightning. Two of their star guards to start off the regular season are Maurice Jones and Braylon Rayson, the rookie. Joining the show today, Maurice and Braylon, thanks for joining the show, guys. Thank you. You come back home and were able to put up a big victory against London. That's a good way to cap off a, a pretty tough week. What do you think, Maurice? Uh, yeah, it was big for us just to um, kind of get back on the right track. You know, we was on a three-game three game losing streak, so we were just trying to get a win and get back going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Maurice, you set a record last year with uh, assists in a season with 320. You're the NBL Canada reigning uh, Rookie of the Year. How has your confidence grown from last year as, uh, to this year as compared to last year? Um, i say it grown a little bit. I mean, I did a lot of work this summer, um, working on my game and stuff like that, being in the gym and me playing last year. You know what I'm saying gave me a lot of confidence coming into this year. So, how have you been able to find your confidence so early in the regular season? Um, I, I was born with it. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I always have confidence. I never let you know the game take my confidence away. Mm -hmm. And long as Mo keep finding me, I'm gonna keep shooting. <laughs> This upcoming weekend, the University of Windsor will be hosting the 61st High School Invitational Basketball Tournament. And here to talk to us a little bit about the Windsor men's basketball program and their recruiting classes, Barry Amlin. Barry, thanks for joining the show. Yeah, no problem. Barry, uh, a tough, a little tough go against the, the OUA East Division. Uh, I mean, you know, we finished at four and six, which is obviously not ideal in, in where we've been at in, in the past. But uh, five and five would have been nice. I mean, we had some games that we kind of let go. Mm -hmm. um, Again, like you said, playing the East, I mean, they're loaded. You know, their top four teams are, are some of the best teams in the country. And, mm -hmm. and we played well in some of those games. Um, you know, we played Carlton well at their place and had a lead against Ottawa at the half. And uh, again, Laurentian came in our place last weekend, was, you know, ranked seventh in the country. And we were up on him at the half and just absolutely played brutal in the second half defensively for sure. So, yeah, I mean, there's some areas of improvement for us. But, um, you know, the West, uh, you know, Brock is is leading the pack right now, but everybody else is kind of grouped in, so it's a battle for, uh, you know, spots two through six. This week's In the Zone moment, brought to you by The Zone Bar and Grill on the corner of Crawford and Wyandotte in Windsor, goes to Windsor's own TJ Laramie, who won the TKO Featherweight 145 pound championship title over Charles Jourdain in the main event of TKO 41 champions at the Bell Center in Montreal on December 8th. Congratulations, TJ. Here's to your In the Zone moment. Thank you.